Hello, hello. Uh, today I'm going to talk about passwords, password management. And um, for that reason, I should have created like a dummy account or something to do this, but I did not. So it's just going to be a few quick minutes of me talking about why I think you should have a password manager. Um, when I talked about this last, I got a lot of notebooks or within notes in my phone. So the reason it's great to have a password manager is it can connect. Um, most of them can connect. You can have it on your phone and your computer so that you go from one to the other and you have your passwords. Um, the beauty of it is you don't have to have them in a notebook and anytime you need that password, you have to go look at that notebook. Um, I will admit, I do have a, a notebook hidden in my office um, that has a few key pa passwords in it as if the worst case scenario, it's where um, maybe my husband could find a password if he needed it. Um, and I'm thinking like maybe your email password or your Facebook password that controls other passwords <laughs> or your password manager's password um, so that someone else could know where it is. Um, but it's not very convenient to have to always go look for a password. But the, the bigger reason is you shouldn't use password one, two, three, or password, or ever use the word password in your password. You also shouldn't repeat passwords. Um, like, I know that sometimes I get an email from somewhere and your password's been set up and it's Tonjus123 or something. Well, if you know that that company always sets it up with the person's last name and then 123, it's pretty easy to guess other people's passwords. Um, if you use the same password with your email and your bank account and your Facebook and your Amazon and all that, well, if someone, it does fall into the wrong hands, then they can potentially access everything. Um, so it's good to have strong passwords. And typically a strong password is going to include um, uppercase, lowercase, a number, and a special character. Um, and that can get to be a lot if you're trying to just remember them or to write them down or um, if you do write them down, but then you're trying to remember them. So highly recommend using a password manager. I have tried a few over the, I have with one of my clients, I use 1Password. I really like it. Um, I know a lot of people love LastPass. I have not tried that. I personally um, use the, the Google Chrome extension because I already spend my time online at Google Chrome. It connects to my iPhone. Um, if you're an all Apple user, you can use Apple Keychain. Um, some other ones that have been recommended is Bitwarden, uh, Password Safe. Um, I have actually tried to start to maybe use, since I pay for Dropbox, and sometimes it's, you get what you pay for. So um, since I already pay for Dropbox, I was trying out their password manager, which I like it. I just haven't moved everything to it yet. So um, I'm going to ask everyone how they manage their passwords. Um, but really consider using a tool um, versus, like, for example, someone said, I use notes in my um, iPhone. Well, if you're using notes, that means every time you need a password, you have to go to notes, copy and paste it back into the app. Whereas if you use a password manager, you don't have to do that. So hope that helps.